this is ss nayar and you are watching the channel english with nayar you see in the corporate sector the work is assessed by kpi that is key performance indicator similarly in schools especially in this video we we'll see how the performance index is calculated instead of calculating the subject average we should calculate the weighted subject average you see cbsc has done away with the mass system we should not be assessing the students by mass or percentages such but the grade system so how many students got which grade that would be calculated in this video keep watching the video till the end don't skip the video hope you like this video let's begin suppose it's science subject now you know that cbc has decided now grades as a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 and e so if you point into uh, point it out as a 0 to 8 point scale then it will be e0 d2 is 1 d1 is 2 and so on so if we proceed from bottom to top there to be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is eight points so the weightage will be like this okay now how to calculate pi let's see further so in this uh, subject if we find that how many students have got which grade for instance here you can find that uh, a1 five students have got a2 six students and so on so we have to count how many students got which grade so you put in this column number of students right suppose there are 40 students in the class then if we add all this it should be 40 so put it them in any of the grade that they have got count it by tally marks and write it over there so a1 five students a2 six students and so on so once you fill this column number of students it should amount to 40 if there are 40 students in your class so weightage we already decided 0 to 1 0 to 8 now what you have to do is you have to find the value value is nothing but weightage into number of students so it will be 8 into 5 40 we have to multiply these two columns right so weightage into number of students i am writing here wn weightage into number of students so that is be the value so third column will be the value so first weightage the number of students and we have got the value here so right uh, value of each grade now add this all right what will be the value of all sum of value so it will be amounting to uh, we have to add this table last column so if i put here reference it will be sum and then just drag this right so enter so it's amounted 215 so value sorted aggregate or you can put the sigma sign here is 215 now how to calculate pi once again uh, let's go the next step pi is sum of value that is we got 215 multiplied by 100 Divided by number of students, that is 40 students total, multiplied by 8, that is the weightage. So here it will be 215, right? You can see here 215 into 100 multiplied by 100 divided by number of students, that is total students in the class, 40 into the weightage, highest weightage, that is 8. 8.0 so if we do by this formula sum of value what are the value addition of all the uh, values that we got from a1 to e that will add it aggregate that is 215 into 100 divided by 
number of students 40 into 8. So this is your PI or performance indicator, right? 67.1875. So I round the top to 67.19. So above 5, then we can um, increase and hence into one more. So 8 will become 9 and we remove the uh, remaining decimal point. So the bit two decimal point. So it will be 67.19. Now if you want to find out the class PI, then what is the method? Right. So class PI, then you know uh, instead of this is about the science subject, instead of only science subject, we do for all other subjects too. Suppose there are five subjects. So uh, how many students got A1? Uh, number of students, this will be five. Next column, this science, next column will be of mathematics, then English and so on. So five columns, we can put more and write how many students got which grade. Later on, what you have to do is, you have to add all this, okay, five, six, uh, how many students got in each subject, add all that thing into weightage, this one, right? So weightage into adding all the subjects, number of students, right? So each row, right? Here, each row, we have to do accordingly. So first add all the subjects and then into multiply it into weightage. So that way you can get it the class one. So in class pair, how many A1 in science, max, things, etc. Add them, right? And then multiply into weightage. So first one it will be into eight, A2 will be multiplied into seven, and so on. So we have to do a row wise, right? So then we get corresponding value on right hand side. So this uh, seventh column, the first will be weightage, then five subject, and the seventh column will be your value. So we'll get value for each grade. Now, once again, add that all the values and you get aggregate value, right? So that aggregate value, you have to put in the formula, sum of value, multiply by 100, divided by number of students. Now here, number of students will be five subject, 40 students into five, that is 200, right? So that you have to remember, number of students will be 200, 14, 5. And sum of value that uh, whatever addition after the value we get it so uh, that will change and the number of students will change so high subject will be 200 if you got it you like this video and uh, if you really appreciate this then uh, do click the like button and uh, subscribe this channel if you are for the first time watching this video Friends, uh, write in the comment box which video we want next so that I can make it a utilitarian video much fruitful to you. Have a good day. Take care.